Hi Capricorn, this is your November monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. Will I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage? I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of November. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in November. We have the Devil, we have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords, then we have the Six of Swords clarified by the King of Swords. In the potential outcome we have uh, the Lovers with the Ace of Cups and uh, the Sun, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or a Leo, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a very specific story, Capricorn. You you're dealing with this King of Swords, right there in the middle, clarifying the Six of Swords. So the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it could be um, somebody who will be helping you with something. And that's how I think you, you're going to meet this person. Or that's how, uh, if this is somebody who is already in your life, that's how this person will no longer be just somebody in your life. They'll become the lover of your life. <laughs> Right? I do see this King of Swords coming to your help. Right? You could be going to uh, Home Depot and buying some supplies for your house. And those supplies are really heavy and they will help you load them up into your car. Um, you may need a lawyer. You may need uh, somebody who could, who could help you fill out an application or a form. Or somebody who could help you do your taxes. Um, or, again, this is somebody who is, could be already in your life and uh, you'll just reach out to them and uh, ask for help and they will help you. And that's how this uh, show will get on the road, okay? There's definitely this person coming in to make your life better, <laughs> right? So we start off with the devil. The devil is your major arcana card, Capricorn. That's you. All right, then we got the uh, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's a card of something that's tough on you, that's hard on you. Um, and uh, the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Ten of Wands, this is you stuck, unable to move forward, unable to do something, unable to proceed because of this uh, Ten of Wands, because that's something tough on you, because it's a burden, because... Uh, you just don't know how to take care of it, you don't know how to fix it, you don't know how to do it. Alright? And here comes the King of Swords, uh, which is clarifying the Six of Swords. Yeah, the Six of Swords is uh, you are finally able to move forward. The Six of Swords is a card of a rough patch being over. This is a card of an improvement. This is a card of things getting better. And uh, all of this has to do with this King of Swords who will assist you with that who will alleviate some of your issues, <laughs> um, who will be there to help, and uh, the rest is history, okay? All right, so yeah, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the lovers with the Ace of Cups and uh, the, ten, the, the Sun. We also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Yeah, the King of Swords could be a Gemini, but the lovers is also... In my opinion, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of um, a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life, you know. And then we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about love. That card is definitely all about love. It's a card of um, genuine, authentic love that... I think both of you will have for each other because there's two people in the lover's card. That's you and them. And the thing about the lover's card, it's like when two p energies are intertwined. It's such a, a deep, intense connection between two people. Right? And the, the Ace of Cups is a confirmation of that. The Sun right next to the deck could be a Leo you're dealing with or somebody with Leo on their chart. But the, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. The Sun always talks about joy, success, happiness, and feeling on top of the world. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of a commitment to marriage. This is a rock solid type of a deal. This is when people buy real estate together, enjoy financial abundance together, and it's just stable. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is a very practical, stable, serious, grounded commitment to marriage. So that's what awaits for you. And I really like how we have the Ten of Pentacles, right? By the way, it's uh, it's an earth sign indicator. You are an earth sign, <laughs> Capricorn. Um, but at the same time, like I said, it's very practical, down-to-earth energy, right? But at the same time, we have uh, 
the lovers with the Ace of Cups. So you're basically getting the best of both, both worlds. You're getting love, you're getting this intense love connection, you're really happy with the Sun card, but at the same time there's this backbone with the Ten of Pentacles, right? So you'll be both really happy, very loving, and uh, there's going to be this stable, grounded, amazing commitment or even marriage between the two of you. Capricorn, I'm not even going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time. So if you're in trouble, by the way, reach out, voice out your, um, reach out to somebody, ask for help, and perhaps this is uh, how this person will come into your life. Or if this is somebody who is already in your life, they'll help you out and, uh, you know, the rest is history. All right, really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this card is for you. Um, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Fool, and we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Very straightforward uh, reading, Capricorn. You will have a choice uh, to make, and um, that choice will involve for you to take, for you guys to take a leap of faith, or perhaps to do something you haven't done before, and that's why there is a hesitation. Right, I do see you taking your time, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But yeah, both the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups right next to it, they, both of those two cards could be interpreted as a card of a decision-making process or a card of a choice, right? So yeah, you will be a little bit confused about it, perhaps you'll be doing research online or asking around, but eventually you will, you know, take a plunge. We have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Fool. The Fool is taking a leap of faith, going for it. The thing about the Fool card, it often um, is a card of doing something you haven't done before, right? And uh, the Wheel of Fortune in this case, yeah, you're spinning the wheel and uh, you're starting this new cycle, okay? The Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, perhaps uh, this is a card of communication. It's a card of travel. For some of you, you could be choosing between uh, multiple between two different vacation destinations, right? Or between um, two different washing machines you want to purchase, or something along those lines. Perhaps you want to take on a new hobby, right? And you're looking at a rock climbing or a skydiving, neither of which you've done before. <laughs> you know, these are just examples. You get the idea, right? You'll have a choice to make and uh, you will be a little bit confused, a little bit struggling with the choice, uh, but eventually you will you will decide to go for it. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Capricorn in November. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Four of Cups. We have uh, the Emperor, clarified by the Two of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant, and uh, we have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an Aries, or a Taurus, or even another Capricorn. This is one interesting reading, Capricorn. <laughs> I think you'll be dealing with two people, uh, both of whom could be your exes, and one of them you're going to kick them to the curb, but uh, the other one will definitely resonate with you, right? So the King of Cups, the first guy that came out is the first suitor, and uh, they could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and uh, the King of Cups is classified by the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, so mm, the answer is no to the King of Cups. However, the answer is yes to the Emperor, the next card that came out. I don't think it's the same person. I don't think the King of Cups and the Emperor are the same person. I think it's these are different people, right? The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, or the Emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who is stepping up. The Emperor often comes through as a future husband or a future significant other figure. And uh, the Emperor is classified by the Two of Cups, so the answer is yes. Right? <laughs> There's two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and the Emperor. The Devil on the bottom of the deck, by the way, that's you. That's your Major Arcana card. And uh, it's always a good sign to have your own card, especially your own Major Arcana card. Especially on the bottom of the deck, if you ask me. So that means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots, you're choosing here, right? And you're definitely deciding to move forward with the Emperor. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant. So I think this is what happens between you and the Emperor. Marriage, all right? There is no other way to interpret those two cards together, especially when one clarifying the other. The Ace of Pentacles is a proposal. The Hierophant is a card of commitment or marriage, okay? <laughs> 
Yep. The hyphen, by the way, could be a Taurus, your yellow moon, but it is a card of something traditional, like a commanded relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. So, again, the uh, uh, nay on the King of Cups and definitely yay on the Emperor. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Capricorn in uh, November. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups. And uh, we have the World on the bottom of the deck. Also a very simple reading. Um, somebody's going to try to lowball you <laughs> in November. It could be a job offer, or if you're selling something, then that's what they'll do. They'll basically lowball you. Right? The Page of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is the original offer. Right? Then we have the Nine of Wands in the middle, that's you. This is you not trusting the offer, basically saying no to the offer. But you're not really rejecting. You're, you will most likely tell them, you know what, no. I want to work with you, I want to work for this company, I want to sell whatever it, is, whatever it is I'm selling, but this is uh, not enough money. <laughs> so here comes the uh, second attempt, the Knight of Pentacles, and that offer will resonate with you, right? Because uh, it's clarified by the Two of Cups, and when it comes to work, business, and finances, the Two of Cups is my handshake card. So that's you shaking hands, accepting the offer. Okay, the world on the bottom of the deck all the way to right. This is a happy end card. This is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end, and a new chapter of your life is about to begin. You could be selling your house and going, gonna go travel, right? Because the world could also be a card of uh, someplace remote. So, yeah, some people do that. Or if uh, you're selling whatever it is you're selling, <laughs> that's a new chapter of your life. Or if you're starting a new job, then obviously it is a new chapter of your life as well. So I guess the advice for you is don't accept any low balls offers. Because <laughs> uh, they will come back with the, with the uh, real offer after that. Alright? Cool. Here's the advice or word of wisdom for you, Capricorn, for the whole month of November. This is from your perspective. It's what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Magician, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the King of Swords. We have uh, the Devil, clarified by the Fool. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I believe this has to do with the uh, new love spread. Uh, the first spread I did for you in this reading. The King of Swords is back, right? And uh, the Devil right next to the King of Swords, that's your major arcana card. So yeah, the King of Swords could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or they are somebody who is really good at what they do. The Magician to the left from the King of Swords is uh, somebody who is, in this case, can make anything happen, right? So if you do have an issue, and uh, the Ten of Wands, Clafina Magician, is a card of a burden. It's a card of something that's taken a toll on you, something you're struggling with. This person will help you with that issue, whatever that issue is. Right? Mm -hmm. um, the Devil is clarified by the Fool. The Fool is a card of, I uh, guess, liberation in this case. So whatever issues you're having, they will help you, um, you know, get rid of them, right? You will feel free from whatever that is that the Ten of Wands represents for you, right? And uh, as a result of that, we got the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of a commitment or marriage. So I guess the advice for you, um, I think I already said it during the first break, right? Ask for help if you need help. Uh, don't, don't, don't be shy. <laughs> you know, ask for help and somebody will, or hire somebody. Uh, if, if you think you can do it all by yourself, you know, I'm sure you can. But, you know, every once in a while it's okay to ask uh, or to hire somebody to help you with stuff. Alright, Capricorn? So, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing November.